Every champion has a genetic code. Every one of us have a genetic code. Understanding this genetic code and interpreting it to our environment is the key to understanding how you need to change your behavior, whether it's for sleep, diet or exercise. In 2010, when we started genetic testing, specifically nutrigenomics, the science of understanding how your food impacts your genetics was conducted, we were trolled. We were told that this science is a pseudoscience. Almost a decade later, we are the pioneers and the leading clinic in the country for nutrigenomic testing, where we have helped hundreds of superstars and athletes win Olympic medals, break Guinness World Records, and get in the fittest shape of their life, all because understanding their personal genetic code allowed them to understand the nutrition plan, the sleep plan, or the exercise plan that they received was not something that was marketed or pushed upon them, but it was their own unique prescribed pattern to their genetic code. Now, if you want to know more about how epigenetics, that's how the world or the environment or the diet or the exercise or the sleep acts upon your genetics, then watch this video further as I explain the science to you in a little bit of a high school mode, but not too technical. Once you understand this, you become the master of your destiny by understanding your gene code and how do you behave with it. Hey, this video might be a little bit geeky and scientific, but if you stick till the end, I will be revealing some of my unique foods and secrets that will help you and you can modify your genetic outcomes for a healthier, fitter you in the future. So sit back and enjoy the entire video till the end. As the country's leading nutritionists have spent years dwelling into the intricate connections between diet and health, one of the most fascinating and revolutionary fields of study that has emerged in the recent years is epigenetics. Now, if you've not heard about this, this cutting edge science explores how our lifestyle choices, particularly our diet, and how it can influence the expression of our genes without altering the underlying DNA sequence. In simpler terms, what you eat can turn certain genes on or off and potentially this affects your health and longevity. So let's dive into the incredible world of epigenetics and discover the foods that can shape your genetic destiny. Epigenetics is a fascinating and rapidly evolving field of science that examines how gene expression can be altered without actually changing the underlying DNA sequence. Essentially, while our genetic code, the sequence of nucleotides in our DNA, remains fixed, epigenetic modifications determine how the genes are turned on or off, like a dimmer switch adjusting the brightness of a light. How epigenetic works. The key mechanisms of epigenetic regulation include DNA methylation, the process, there's an addition of a methyl group to the DNA, typically at the cytosine basis. The effect, methylation can silence genes, preventing them from being expressed. For example, tumor suppressor genes may be turned off in cancer cells through hypermethylation. Another one, histone modification process histones are proteins around which DNA is wound. Chemical modifications such as acetylation, methylation and phosphorylation can alter the histone structure. What's the effect? These modifications can either loosen or tighten the DNA histone interaction actually affecting your gene accessibility and expression. For instance, acetylation usually relaxes the chromatin structure, moting gene expression. Non-coding RNA molecules process small RNA molecules such as microRNAs called mRNAs and long non-coding RNAs can interact with mRNA to regulate gene expression post-transcriptionally. The effect? These RNA molecules can degrade mRNA or inhibit its translation thus controlling the levels of protein produced by genes. Now, what are the triggers of epigenetic changes? Epigenetic changes can be influenced by various environmental factors throughout a person's life. And these include diet, 
nutrients and bioactive compounds in food can directly impact epigenetic mechanisms. For example, folate or the vitamin B9 found in leafy greens is crucial for DNA methylation processes. Stress is another form from the environment. Chronic stress can lead to epigenetic modifications that affect the brain function and behavior, potentially increasing the risk of mental health disorders. And number three is exposure to toxins, environmental pollutants and chemicals such as tobacco smoke and heavy metals can cause detrimental epigenetic changes linked to diseases like cancer and neurodegenerative disorders. Another one, surprisingly, physical activity. Regular exercise has been shown to induce beneficial epigenetic changes, promoting genes involved in muscle growth and metabolic health. Sleep, I was waiting to get to this one. Quality sleep is essential for maintaining health and epigenetic patterns, which can influence immune function and cognitive health. The impact of epigenetics on your health and aging. The ability of epigenetics to alter gene expression has profound implications for health and disease. Here's how it can affect various aspects of our life. For me, the first one is chronic diseases. Epigenetic modifications are linked to the developments of conditions such as cancer, even diabetes, cardiovascular diseases, and most of the autoimmune disorders. For instance, aberrant, that is denatured DNA methylation patterns can activate oncogenes, cancer genes, or silence tumor suppressor genes. This contributes to cancer progression. Another one is aging. We all age. Aging is associated with global changes in the entire DNA methylation and histone modifications. Now these changes can really affect the genes that are involved in cellular repair, metabolism and inflammation, also accelerating the aging process and increasing the susceptibility to age-related diseases. Well, you would say that's called aging, but it's linked inside your DNA. Now mental health, epigenetic changes in brain can influence mood, the behavior and cognitive function, stress, trauma, and lifestyle factors can all induce epigenetic modifications that contribute to psychiatric disorders such as depression, anxiety, and schizophrenia. Development. Epigenetics plays a crucial role in development right from the embryonic stages right up through adulthood. For example, did you know that maternal nutrition and environmental exposures can cause significant epigenetic changes that actually affect the fetal development and long-term health outcomes. So what you eat, how you think and how you behave is so important when you're carrying that child in your womb. The power of nutrition in epigenetics. Now this is my subject matter. Nutrition plays a crucial role in all epigenetic modifications. Certain foods contain bioactive compounds that can modify the epigenome, leading to beneficial health outcomes. These compounds can activate or silence specific genes, potentially reducing the risk of diseases such as cancer, cardiovascular disease, and diabetes. Now, I've got a list of eight foods that are proven with epigenetic effects, and my list goes as follows. Broccoli and crucifix vegetables contain sulforaphane and indole-3-carbinol. Now, this has profound epigenetic effects, and they can activate tumor suppressor genes and detoxifying enzymes, reducing the risk of cancer. In fact, broccoli microgreens is my number one prescription at my Kwan Nutrition Clinics. If you can get it done, it reduces the risk of cancer. Second best person that I love is green tea and I drink it every day. It contains a compound known as epigallocatechin gallate. EGCG, I memorized this from my master's degree in biochemistry. EGCG can modify DNA methylation patterns and I've been drinking it since my medical days because it lowers the risk of cancer, improves cardiovascular health, even crosses the eye barrier to improve your eye health. Now, we all know about this compound, turmeric, haldi, contains active compound and you've heard about it, curcumin. And these inhibit the histone deacetylases and the enzyme that can silence tumor-suppressing genes, thereby potentially preventing cancer. 
which is why Dadima was right in adding haldi to almost every beverage. New to this part of the world are berries. We have our Indian gooseberry and every other berry that you can think about. Now they contain ellagic acid and anthocyanins. The epigenetic effect of these compounds can inhibit DNA methyl transferases, the enzymes that are involved in DNA methylation. You can think of DNA getting attacked, leading to reduced cancer risk. So berries are like anti-rust to your DNA molecules. Nuts. The compounds in nuts are polyphenols and omega-3 fatty acids, my favorite. And the epigenetic effects that come from this is that these nutrients can modulate gene expression involved in inflammation, lipid metabolism, and also promotes heart health and its all-round status like Virat Kohli, its ability to reduce inflammation in the human body. Now, garlic. If you do not like garlic, one of the most important compounds, I got to tell you why. It contains something known as allicin and organosulfur compounds. Yes, you may smell, but the epigenetic effects on this compound can influence histone modification and DNA methylation, potentially reducing cancer risk. Soy. One of my favorite compounds, janitzin and diadzin found inside soy, have epigenetic effects. These isoflavones in soy can modulate DNA methylation and histone modification. And now this may help prevent hormone-related cancers. However, I would like to insert a medical caution. Soy can go in both directions. It's important to understand that for certain hormone-based cancers, soy may actually promote the development of a cancer. So it's best that you conduct or contact your medical dietitian and oncology expert or family doctor to give you specific advice on whether you should incorporate soy in your diet. But for general people out there, soy is relatively safe and has a good impact on all your disease markers. And my next one is fatty fish. The compounds found in fatty fish are omega-3 fatty acids, specifically EPA and DHA. The epigenetic effects of omega-3 are that it can influence gene expression, not only inflammation, but also brain health and cardiovascular health, thus reducing the risk of chronic disease. So now I've got all of these ideas of what's good for you, but how do we incorporate this into your daily diet and call it an epigenetic food that's added to your diet? Now, I want you to harness the epigenetic power of these foods, and I want you to consider including them every day in your daily diet to protect your DNA, to improve your epigenetics. So let's start with breakfast. In my opinion, one of the most powerful meals of the day can do a smoothie featuring berries, maybe baby spinach and sprinkle ground flaxseed for an omega-3 boost. This is a great cancer protector. Lunch, enjoy a salad with mixed greens. Greens are beautiful. Broccoli and a light dressing of olive oil, maybe extra virgin olive oil. Don't heat that oil and a sprinkle of lemon juice on that. So for dinner, opt for turmeric spiced grilled salmon, mackerel, Indian ravas, all of this can be served with a side of garlic roasted vegetables. So the garlic and the omega-3 from the fatty fish really protect you. Now those were the three meals of the day, but what about snacks? You could keep a handful of nuts. Don't do too many nuts because you could put on weight, but don't forget to add a cup of green tea. And this is a great way to have a healthy epigenetic friendly snack. So there you have it. The field of epigenetics offers a powerful perspective on how your dietary choices can influence your health at the genetic level. By incorporating foods rich in bioactive compounds, we can potentially activate beneficial genes and silence those that increase disease risk. As the country's top nutritionist, I encourage you to embrace these epigenetic foods and maybe unlock the secrets to a healthier, longer life. Remember, what you eat today can shape your genetic destiny of tomorrow. And if you've started incorporating these foods already before this video, but you want to get to the next scientific level of testing, then this is what you can do, is you can check the link in the descriptor where I have made all the relevant markers that we test for at the genetic level. So once you have your DNA blueprint fitted out, you now know how to build the epigenetics on top of that. For example, I have a magnesium deficient gene. So that DNA marker was tested. Once it was tested, it gave me the forecasting knowledge 
to know what I should do. So what's that forecasting knowledge? Hey, I'm deficient in magnesium. So the test has told me I need to take more magnesium. Two parts. I could take it as a supplement or I could discover which are the foods which give me more magnesium. In both cases, at the Kwan Nutrition Clinic, me and my team of nutrigenomic counselors are authorized, certified, as well as qualified to guide you on doing the test, conducting the test, interpreting the test, and then helping you design a genetic diet plan for better health. And that, in my opinion, is Formula One for your genes. Tap the link and get filling on that form so me and my team can get back to you with all the data and information that you need to fulfill your genetic destiny.